you've probably already heard all the buzz about Facebook's recent rebranding as Meta. The corporate makeover was meant to signal that the company is looking to expand outward from social media and into the so-called metaverse. Okay, great. But that leaves us with one big question. What actually is the metaverse anyway? Well, it's complicated and it depends on who you ask. The concept of the metaverse is famously a bit nebulous and hard to pin down, not to mention that at this stage it remains somewhat theoretical in nature. To Facebook's, uh, sorry, Meta's definition, the metaverse is a set of virtual places where you can create and explore with other people who aren't in the same physical space as you. Still a bit confused? Well, think of the metaverse as a network of online worlds rendered in persistent real-time 3D in which users interact via personalized avatars and do things like play video games, attend virtual events, or buy virtual goods. Sometimes, the metaverse can be accessed via virtual and augmented reality headsets, but not always. Here's just one example of where the possibilities may lie. Let's say you're shopping online for a new winter coat. What if, instead of having to make your decision based solely on glancing at a 2D picture of the coat, you could enter a virtual dressing room and try on the coat yourself, allowing you to see how the jacket looks on you. In the metaverse, according to his advocates, you can do just that and so much more. This is only the beginning. Some say that the metaverse could revolutionize the internet and fundamentally alter the digital landscape. Not yet though. We're still a long way from the metaverse becoming completely functional. Like other previous next big things, the concept of the metaverse may never fully come to fruition or it may turn out to look and feel completely different from how we conceptualize it today. Still, it's easy to see how big brands with large advertising budgets perceive a ton of opportunities in the metaverse. But where does this leave smaller publishers and content creators? Creators will be key to developing the metaverse. Large companies like Google and Meta may initially supply virtual reality headsets, but individual creators and developers will make the metaverse really come to life. At the end of the day, it is really the creator and developers who are going to build the metaverse and make this real, Mark Zuckerberg said. He also goes on to mention his expectations that hundreds of thousands of people will work to create and sustain the metaverse. But this can only happen if there's an economy to support them. Zuckerberg also says it's critical that creators and developers can make a good living doing this work. Meta plans on ensuring that creators, developers, and entrepreneurs will have plenty of income opportunities for participating in the metaverse. This includes creators who make digital objects, offer services and experiences, and build entire digital worlds. Many ways to leverage the metaverse's potential. Content creators have long relied on social media to make an income that is unlikely to change in the future. In fact, it may only grow further as the metaverse rolls out. Our goal is to provide a way for many creators as possible to build a business in the metaverse, said Vishal Shah. With that in mind, Meta has some recommendations for how creators can maximize the metaverse environment. 
some of the forward thinking ideas Meta shared include Horizon Marketplace, a virtual store to sell and share 3D digital items. Virtual reality events, attend live concerts, political debates, poetry reading, exclusive parties, and other events. Sell virtual merchandise. Artists can sell their work for avatars to wear or display in their virtual homes. 3D digital objects in physical worlds. People can place 3D virtual objects in the real world that people can interact with and personalize. Many of these virtual ideas are already starting to see implementation today. Take a look at the controversial NFT concept, for example, which allows people to buy an original digital file that can't be replaced due to protection by blockchain technology. And there's some serious money involved. The most expensive NFT ever sold was bought for $69 million. If this digital trend continues, it's easy to see how a metaverse could be filled with opportunities for creators to share their work and make an income from it. 2022 is definitely going to be a huge year. While a fully developed metaverse is still years away, the first step towards building out the digital universe are already underway. Zuckerberg claimed that in the next year, creators will be able to connect different physical locations into cohesive augmented reality storytelling experiences. Creators could possibly create virtual experiences like guided tours and scavenger hunts. It may be time to put on your thinking cap and see if you can brainstorm an idea to launch with this new feature. Online communities may never look the same. Meta also emphasized that the metaverse will be a whole new way to connect with your audience. One day, you might be able to invite people into your virtual home and have a personalized, real-time conversation with them. Regardless of where the metaverse goes from here, it's still important to employ a variety of ways to reach your audience. After all, we all saw the effects of Facebook being down for an entire day earlier in 2021. For now, it's best for content creators to stay as up to date on all the latest developments as the metaverse concept continues to evolve. As a concept transforms into reality, those who are best informed will be the ones who stand to reap the biggest rewards. What do you think about the metaverse? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video and you stay to the end, I thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. I got another one coming. Crypto World out.